Hello everybody, today we're looking at a hard drive that is in for data recovery and it's had the USB broken. Now it's been to a professional data recovery business with a website that claims that they're experts, five years experience, but something has gone wrong and it's now being brought to me. Now immediately I can tell by looking at the soldering job of this connector that it looks quite bad and maybe this person does not have a lot of experience soldering. So we'll have to open it up and take a look. Another thing that always stands out to me as a red flag is screws that have been damaged with the incorrect screwdriver. Now if you're a professional, you shouldn't see any damaged screw, you shouldn't see any trouble trying to open up one of these. The screw should be nice and clean like this. But you can see whoever's had it, has struggled to open these screws. So that's a big red flag. Let's take a closer look. Now someone has really struggled to try to repair this USB connector. I made a video on how to repair one of these recently. So check it out if you want to watch me do one of these. But they've really struggled. You can see there's scratch marks all around here as they've struggled to, to try and connect this and resolder it. There's also some components here that are completely broken. I'm not sure what that is. Was that an LED? It's completely damaged now. So the damaged components. Are we missing anything here? No, that looks okay. Now you can see what's gone wrong. If we zoom in a bit closer. Oh, that's a good angle. Um, basically, nothing has soldered back together. These pins are loose. This one here didn't solder. This one here is not soldered. Neither is this one. It looks like they've got heat in here and two have soldered back, but they have, they've failed to resolder the mounting joints, so they don't have strength. And all these pins down here are loose. They haven't been soldered. And if we look in this one, it actually looks like the soldering pad has been ripped off. How does that look? Yes, so if we get in nice and close here, there's actually nothing to solder to. So we'll have to strip that back and we'll solder a little bit further up. So it should be an easy repair. Let's get stuck into it. Now, before I try to resolder this, I'm gonna clean it, get rid of all the gunk from the last person, make sure it's nice and clean like all welding. The cleaner, the easier it will be to resolder all this. I'm just gonna add a bit of solder to the mounting points first just to give it some strength and stability before we try to solder the pins sorry but the camera just froze then wasn't that cool to see anyway i'm going to start with the easy side these pins here and i'm just going to reflow the solder here one by one maybe i'll use tweezers to lock it but Might need some solder to top these pins up. Now you can see the solder kind of melts underneath. This one here, there you go, and spreads out. So those, these five pins, let's have a look. Yep. Okay, they're soldered. So we'll do the same for these four, and then we'll have to fix this fifth one at the end. Bit of flux. Should be enough solder. We'll find out. There you go. I told you this would be an easy job. Looks alright. Now we won't be able to get the last one. That pad is removed, so we'll do a little bit of a trick there. Uh, how did we go? Let's just grab the tweezers. Yeah, these ones are definitely soldered. Now this last pin here, I'm just going to get a little scalpel. And we're going to scratch back here. Now you can see the last technician has done some damage. They've scratched back a ground plane. That's kind of sucks, so you shouldn't do that. You want to just, it's risky that my solder will, will stick to that ground plane. So I'm just going to have to be extra careful. In fact, I'm going to zoom in, make my life a bit easier. So we've got this one pin here. I 
So what I'm going to do is tin this trace wire that I've just scratched back a bit with a bit more solder. In fact, I might use this solder here. And my chisel is a bit big for this, so I've got to be very careful. Now, I wouldn't have to worry if that wasn't scratched back there. So I've tinned that okay, and we might just see if I can get into that pin. If I have to change my tip, I will. Yep, just a bit of solder. That should be enough. Should be enough. What I'm going to do is actually pull this pin out and see if I can get it to reach a new position. There we go. Okay. Be better if I can bend it in the shape. Okay, we've got a bit of solder. Get rid of that. That can cause a short. Now that's hard. These tweezers are tiny and they're still struggling to get in there. Oh, I need something smaller. Might just try my scalpel, just... Nope. Okay, I'm going to bend the whole pin out from the top then. There we go. Now I'm going to try and stretch out this pin here. So it points down to my new solder pad that I made. Let's make sure you can see that. So I may have to hold this in place with the tweezers. There we go. I think that will do. Now if I simply heat up this pad, it should suck the solder straight together and weld. There you go. We did it. I'll wait for that to cool down and check that pin. Okay, it's very fragile. Let's clean it all out again. Clean up my mess. I'm just going to be gentle with this fragile pin. Down here. We'll let this um, ISO dry off. We'll screw the PCB back on and I'll plug it in and we'll see if we got that to work. Easy. Okay guys, we've got the hard drive plugged in. It sounds like it is working. That's some good news. It has detected with a smart error. I'll run a test and we'll see if this hard drive is detecting and working. So a smart means that it has self-detected some kind of problem. Up here we've got a 15 errors in the G-Sense error. That means it's the G4 sensor has gone off 15 times. I'm not surprised considering the USB connectors ripped off. So these are impacts and drops 15 times it's detected that. Um, apart from that it is reading. We do have access to the hard drive again so this will be fine. I'll get all the data back for the customer. If you need hard drive data recovery, hit me up. I'll leave a link in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video.